If you're a freelancer and you're using email or social media or text messages to close your clients and you're not getting on the phone with them, you're committing one of the single dumbest mistakes you could possibly make in your business. And I know that sounds really mean, really rough, but I'm telling you this from experience. This is something that's cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars throughout my career because it took me over a decade to learn this lesson the hard way. So in this video, I wanna give you five reasons why you should be closing all of your clients over the phone or through Zoom or in person and stop hiding behind email, social media, and text messages. So before we get into these top five reasons, I have to address the elephant in the room. And that is if you are a millennial like me or your generation Z, you're likely not using phones to close your clients or Zoom to close your clients because chances are you just don't know, you don't remember how to talk to people in person, especially after the last couple of years that we've been through as a society. So if that's you, if you're the person who doesn't do phone sales because you're scared, you don't know what to say on the phone, you don't know really how to, to walk through people through the sales process, you're, you're not a, a closer, that's completely okay. I have a resource for you that I wanna give away. I'll give you a link to it at the end of this video as well. It's a free mini course called Your First Sales Roadmap. In this mini course, I walk you through from top to bottom how to actually craft a sales roadmap map or a sales process or a sales script, if you want to call it that, that guides you through how to conduct the call from the very beginning all the way to the close at the very end where you're actually collecting a deposit from a client. If that sounds interesting. Just go to sixfigurecreative.com slash sales, and you can sign up for that free mini course. All right. So with that out of the way, let's actually move into the five reasons you should be closing all of your clients on the phone. Reason number one, is something called accelerated learning. Accelerated learning is just how fast you get to learn from doing something. A great example of this is in the photography world. Way back in the day, before there was digital photography, in order to get feedback on the photo that you just took, to check the lighting, to check the aperture, to check the exposure, all these things that were important for photographers at the time, in order to get feedback on how you put all of your settings, there was a long delay. You had to turn all your film in, get it developed, come back a few days later, pick up all of your photographs and start looking through. And that was a long delay between clicking the camera and then getting feedback on what it was that you actually did on the shot itself and then making adjustments for the next time and then repeating that process. It was a really long process just to get better at photography. Fast forward now when digital photography is a thing, it's a much faster process from clicking the button to looking at the camera is mere seconds. So I can much more quickly adjust, learn and adjust, learn and adjust. And the feedback loop is so much tighter than it was before digital photography. It's the same when you're doing sales calls with your clients. Every single time you get on the phone with a client, you get real time feedback on things like what is resonating with them. If you say something about your business or your services or what you offer and they perk up or they light up, that's an immediate feedback on something that resonates with your client. If their eyes glaze over, you know that it's not really working well. If they're confused, you know that you instantly know that that's something you should adjust next time you talk to somebody. And you're also quickly learning about their challenges that they're going through in their day to day lives, about their goals they have for whatever it is that, that you're working with as a freelancer. And most importantly, and I want you to pay attention, you get to learn about why you're not getting hired. One of the biggest challenges as a freelancer is people ghosting on us. Anytime someone requests a price from you and you send it out to them and you never hear back again, even if you follow up, you never hear back from them. You have no real idea why you didn't get hired. You just know you didn't get the money, you didn't win the client and you just move on with your life and that's normal, right? On a sales call, it is much easier to get to the root of the reason why they're not actually hiring you. You'll get it through objections, you'll get it through excuses, and this allows you to quickly evolve two important things in your business. Number one is your messaging, and number two is what it is that you're actually offering. You're gonna find out something very important very quickly, and that is if you're struggling as a freelancer, there's typically one of two things that's wrong with your business. One is you're offering the wrong thing, Number two is that you're potentially offering the correct thing, but your messaging behind it is terrible. You have something that they really want, but you're not communicating it well to them of why they should want to hire you. On a sales call like this, you'll quickly start to learn these things and you'll make micro adjustments along the way of ways that you can better communicate what it is that you offer or ways that you can adjust what you offer so that you're more appealing to people. And all of these things from number one on this list leads to number two of why you should be closing all of your clients over the phone. And that is you get higher conversion rates. And that just means for all of the people that you talk to that are potential clients of yours, you'll turn more of those into actual clients than you would if you just focus on text messages or social media or email to close your clients. When you get on the phone with somebody, there's just a deeper connection. This is the same if it's in person or on Zoom, you just have a better connection with somebody than just through email. You can communicate your tonality, your body language. You can read people. It also shows people that you care. It builds trust with them. All these things lead to more clients in your, in your business at the end of the day. The other reason you're going to get higher conversion rates if you get on the phone with people is that you can actually make adjustments to what it is that you offer specific 
to the person that you're talking to. Not everyone needs the exact same service, the exact same way. And when you can get on the phone and dive into what they actually need, what is going to actually help them get from point A to point B, wherever the desired end result is. If you can actually get on the phone and figure these things out, you can make adjustments to how you're pitching your service to them at the end of the call. And this will also lead to higher conversion rates. Now, the third reason you should be closing all of your clients over the phone is that you get a faster time to close. I don't know how many people in my lifetime where I've done all communication through email and just the entire sales process drags out for months and months and months, if not over a year sometimes. And while there are a lot of things in play there that's outside of something a phone could could solve. Generally, a phone is a much faster way to close a client because you can answer all their questions in one place. You can address all of their objections. And honestly, if you go back to point number one, where you're quickly evolving your messaging, you're also getting better at addressing those objections before they even have them. You're, you're bringing things up to crush objections before it even enters their brain. And that is also helping your conversion rates, which is point number two. But it also speeds the entire process up because when they're out of questions, it's time to make a decision. The, the decision's either yes or it's no. On an email thread or on social media DMs or just text messages, they can just ghost you. They can just never reply again. And again, you don't know why. So the phone just speeds this entire process up, things that could take weeks or months, takes one phone call, maybe two phone calls, and you're done. The other reason that phone sales can speed up the sales process is that you can actually build excitement for what it is that you do in ways that you can't do through email. Whenever you're walking them through a really well thought out sales process on the call, you're helping them understand why they really need your services, how your services can truly help them reach their goals, and how your service can help them actually either avoid pain or solve problems. And so that starts to build excitement in their heads and hearts as they go through the sales call. That excitement is what can help get them off the fence if they were previously on the fence before the call. And you just can't do that the same way through emails and texts. All right, so number four, the fourth reason you should be closing all of your clients over the phone or over Zoom or in person and not through text message and email is that you get better clients. How many times have you actually worked with a client that ended up being a, a complete nightmare? I call those nightmare clients or red flag clients. These are the people that you never should have worked with because no matter how much they paid you, it wasn't worth the effort and the struggle and the pain involved with working with that client. The greatest thing about phone conversations is that you can weed out those clients before they ever hire you in ways that you can't do when you're just doing email exchanges or text messages. You're able to get those red flags, those weird things that they, they think are involved with the project that aren't, or those things that they expect from you that aren't actually, they're actually getting, or those lies they're telling themselves about how this whole thing works that you can now explain to them that's not how it actually works. This is, this is not what you think it is. It helps you weed out those people that are either red flag, bad clients, or clients that just genuinely don't need your services yet or aren't, aren't a great fit for what you have to offer. So if you set up your sales process the right way, you can find out if they're a good fit or they're not. And the thing is, you only offer your services to the people that are a good fit, the people that you actually want to work with. And once you start working with those clients that you have properly weeded out, all the bad clients, your business becomes much more easy to run, much more enjoyable to run, much more manageable, less stressful. And even though you're weeding out clients, these bad clients or clients that aren't a good fit, you're still overall getting more clients because again, you're getting on the phone. You're getting higher conversion rates, as I said, from point number two. And now for number five, the fifth reason why you should be closing all clients over the phone is that you can actually find their truth. What does this mean? Well, bear with me for a second. The number one thing that you should be doing on any sales call is finding their truth. It's not to close them. It's not to sell them on your services. It's to find the truth of where they are, where they want to be, and whether or not you can actually help bridge that gap from point A to point B. If you can, you offer your services. If you can't, you tell them to go elsewhere. That is the point of finding their truth. It's not to, again, sell people that shouldn't be sold. It's to get to the root of the issues that they're having and why they need to hire you for your services in the first place. The problem with finding the truth through email is that half the time the clients don't even know their own truth. They don't even know why they need your services. They don't even know what success looks like in a project. And you're helping guide them through that dedicated path from point A to point B and helping them understand what it takes to bridge that gap and whether or not you're the right solution for them or not. And if you can get to the truth of it, You'll feel better about your sales. You won't feel like you're a sleazy salesman because all you're doing on the sales call and your entire sales process is set up to, again, find their truth. And the best way to do this is over the phone. 
So if you're at the point, you're like, I would like to start trying phone sales. I am interested in trying phone sales and moving to phone sales. I'm intimidated by it, but I'm interested in trying it. Then I want to help you create your first sales roadmap. When I, I call it a sales roadmap because this is how you're guiding someone from point A to point B in this conversation without letting them veer off the road and circle around and go back and forth. You're helping steer the conversation in the right direction the entire call instead of letting them take over and just go whichever way they want to go. If you're interested in creating your first sales roadmap, then sign up for my free mini course for creating your first sales roadmap over at sixfigurecreative.com slash sales. In the course has multiple videos, multiple lessons, and also a wonderful template that you can actually utilize for your sales calls where you can fill out each section and understand what you should say on every single sales call you have with your clients. And again, if that sounds good to you, just go to sixfigurecreative.com slash sales. So now I have a question for you. Are you properly convinced that phone sales are right for you as a freelancer? If not, let me know in the comments. If so, let me know why in the comments.